So this is gonna be one of the most useless vlogs I've ever made in my life because we're just literally going to Walmart and we're picking up a TV at the like um, curbside shit. But if you guys enjoy this type of content, let me know, I'll make more of it. We are in the Challenger and we are rolling out to Walmart right now. But first, gotta stop for some coffee. Now that we have coffee, we can be on our way. A little bit of them mountains over there. Now that we're here, we gotta get signed in. I gotta say, this is probably one of my favorite things about Colorado. Like, if pretty much from anywhere you live, you just see the mountains. But hopefully this TV fits in the trunk. It's a pretty big trunk. And I was hoping there wasn't anything in it. Hopefully the 40 inch will fit. Should be exciting. I hope you guys are enjoying this little vlog video. What's up? We doing? You got your stuff? You got your tablet and stuff? Have fun. We're just waiting for the guy to come out here and bring the stuff or whatever. So, guess we'll just wait while we drink some coffee. Ah. Mm, that mountains though looks so good. So I think most of these people here are like delivery people that are picking up your order from Walmart. Costs you about eight nine bucks or something to have your groceries delivered, but there's a lot of people here man like there's 20 spots and i think that's gonna be and there's like i don't know one two three four five six seven eight nine there's like 10 other cars here i got here before the 10th one hey what are you yelling for what are you doing you want to be a vlogger too say hi no <laughs> she's mad she's in the car and she wants to get out and run around because we're just sitting here. So we'll see you guys when uh, something happens. Looks like our TV's on the way right there. Woo Let's go, baby. Well, fits. Just barely. But it fits. Let's go home and put this shit together and start playing some racing games, man. Let's go. We have to get that to fit over here somewhere. I don't know how we're gonna do it. We gotta unhook all the stuff from the computer, move it to the edge or even down here on this little shelf. We're gonna put the desk pad back. This monitor might be vertically mounted like that in the corner somewhere. But for now, let's clean all that stuff up. So we moved some of the stuff out of the way and got it all out of the, like kind of cleaned up. This thing, I don't know if I like it there, just because of how deep the case is. You can just see the whole back. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put it, but we're going to figure that out later. Right now, let's unbox this thing. Okay, you actually have to open the box. Do, do, do. have a leg right side we have another leg left side those are actually really like minimal footprint we got a shitty little remote not saying this company or the TV is bad it just it's not a very awesome remote all right there we go we got some Plastic. Gonna unwrap this thing like your uh, peck after a hard night. Okay. Oh, cords built in. Not really a big fan of that, but that's all right. 
And there was something else. Wow, this thing is incredibly light. Doesn't weigh hardly anything. There was something else in the box. Oh, batteries and screws for the legs. And some type of weird foam slash cardboard thing. I don't know if we'll be wall mounting this thing. All right, we'll get her out of the way for now. Oh, I need the box. Well, let us check out. So the wall mount pattern is freaking huge. So in order for us to actually wall mount this to this thing, we need extensions which I do not have at the moment, but we could probably get some. Yep, so no base amount for this thing. So we gotta put the legs on. Boop, boop, boop. Got my feet out all raw, you know? But you can manual this thing, I mean, it's so light. All right, we need screws. Um, safety information. Yeah, don't drop it. We need batteries. And we don't need those friggin' instructions. We need the legs. Don't need that. Oh, so that's the left one. If I'm looking at it, so it'd be this side. Oh, right. Oh, it even says it on the TV. How convenient. Big old sensor on the bottom. What is this one? Oh, this is the right one. I can't read good. What, what in the planet shit bag is going on? What? This is the right side. Oh, it goes like crooked. I thought it went in like straight like this. I'm like, what is going on here? Nonsense. I mean, it, this thing's so light, I can literally just pick it up and walk around with it. With one hand, like, ugh. I mean, heck, that's good, right? Screw number one. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger screwdriver. Because these are not gonna work with this screwdriver. Well, they might. There you go. This is certainly a cheap ass TV. Like I said, under 200 bucks. I really don't think you can beat it. For 1080p, I mean. Now, the ultimate goal is to get like four Scepter um, 40 inch 1440p monitors for my whole setup. But as of right now, I don't think. That would have been good because the legs would have broke off for sure. That is going to be a possibility until Scepter sponsors me <laughs> for the stream. So this setup right here, angled in, this is my first idea. I don't like how the chat monitor looks, plus it's too tall. So the computer is kind of weird too. It just looks cluttered and shitty. So next is a different setup. All right, now this is the other way to set it up. TV in front, pretty centered, honestly. And then the other monitor there, obviously it'll have a monitor stand on it. I can't do it vertically, it's just too much. It's 30 inch ultra wide. But then we have the SIM rig back the way it was. PC right there. I don't think, that's the biggest thing to me is I don't like the way this looks. I gotta figure out another way. I could put the PC right in the corner 
and try to put the monitor next to it. So let's try that out. All right, so that doesn't really work either because when you're sitting here looking at the TV, you have to turn all the way that way to look at the other monitor for chat and everything. I think we're going to take this and we're going to put it on there right against the wall and put the monitor back in the corner like it was. Let's try that out. All right, so here's kind of the final setup for now. I, once I figure out some stuff, I'll probably change some of this. The problem is with the simulator pointing straight in there and the TV in the corner, you're too far away to comfortably use the mouse pad and stuff over here. The computer here looks good, right? But it is behind. I do want it up here somewhere. I don't know if I just literally put it behind the TV or something or back up here. I don't know because now I really need USB extensions for everything and I don't actually have any more than what I'm already using for this whole side so I don't know let me give some give me some thoughts on it and let me know what you guys think of it I think this is gonna have to move over here for now and it's just gonna be what it is all right overall this is gonna stay there it's not too bad we can see the monitor and everything right here and use what we need to use. We connected the TV to the internet and we're updating the software right now as you can see. And then we're going to take this peel off. And I think we'll be pretty much ready to do a TikTok stream on the new simulator setup. And this 40 inch TV, I mean it's close to the side, but it's pretty centered. So I think we're pretty much good to go. Maybe it could be tilted down towards me just a little bit or the seat a little bit higher so you can see better But overall for now this will work just fine And we can unplug it and take it downstairs for football or watch football up here or whatever Since it's a smart TV it has all the apps that we need for pretty much everything that we need to do Looking good So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog setup tour kind of deal where we set up this 40 inch cheap tv it was like under 200 dollars. i think it's going to make a huge difference playing on a bigger monitor because you can see how much bigger this 40 inch uh 16 by 9 aspect ratio is compared to this 22 by 9 or something like that like it's crazy how much bigger that is hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog style video today and we will see you guys next week in another video